Many people served by CES have the ability to prepare meals themselves, but because of mobility or transportation issues, they can't get to the food shelf. CES brings the food shelf to them. Home delivery has been around for just over 10 years. It was first developed when we found a need of seniors who can't get to the food shelf on their own and don't have other individuals who can get them here. So we began the home delivery program as a service to bring good quality food to our homebound seniors. Some people, they're struggling for the food. Some people, they don't have family. And CES, they're helping a lot people to get the food in front of the doors. I actually started as, an, as a volunteer with my family over six years ago, and um, one day was offered a, a job. I said, absolutely, because I love seniors, and having security and food is very important to me. I love making, um, I call it goulash, and the meat and onions are always here, so that's very helpful. If there was not a home delivery program for the community that we are delivering to, many of them would go without a lot of the things that they needed. We cover about a two mile radius around CES. We basically cover downtown Minneapolis and the Phillips neighborhood. CES learns about um, a client who needs our help either by they already live in an apartment building that we're already delivering to, or in some cases it, is, it has been a friend referral. Sometimes they've been to the food shelf in the past, so they're aware of the home delivery program. This really helps. It's got real healthy food, more personalized what you need. We like to try and individualize their grocery needs. So in addition to the regular stock that we have, we have special items that come in through donations. CES, my job for the helping for the community, all of them, especially for East Africa. We choose a specific culture for East Africa. Home delivery services about 350 seniors a month. They receive between 25 and 45 pounds of groceries. Individuals enrolled into the program if they are a senior or a younger person with a disability. And we try to focus on seniors who are isolated. They can't get to the food shelf. They have lower income. They have very few community resources in regard to family or friends that, can't, that would otherwise help them get to the food shelf. And then we have volunteers who come in and pre-bag our non-perishable items and in some cases they pre-pack the perishable items um, and then we bring all the groceries out to the individual and deliver it to them. In some cases we bring along the perishable items and set them up in a community room and ask our seniors to come down and that way they get even a little bit more choice. Maybe they want potatoes today, maybe they want chicken legs versus ground meat and so that gives them a little more of the personal choice as well as the dignity of shopping for themselves. I've been volunteering with the home delivery program about four to five years. I volunteer probably anywhere from eight to ten times a year and it's very rewarding to me to see the faces of the people that receive the food. If you're looking to volunteer through CES, our seniors are part of our society, they are our neighbors, and they are some of the most tender-hearted, fun, loving, individuals. You can learn so much from them by connecting with them and helping them stay connected to our community and do begin to build a relationship with our senior neighbors. And that's touching for them as well as for you as a volunteer. So I would encourage other people to apply. It's very rewarding. They'll feel joy from having this experience. The home delivery program is rewarding for me as a volunteer because it gives me the opportunity to meet people that are receiving food and just develop friendships. CES fosters community because a strong community is the best hope for sustainable relief from hunger and poverty. Help us take people from hunger to hope.